Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be doing a desk tour for you after I put it on my Instagram stories and a lot of you said you'd be interested in seeing what my desk was like. So I'm just gonna show you around the little bits that I've got on my desk, where I got them from, how I work at my desk and yeah, just things like that really. So let's get into the video. So my desk is set up in my room. It's actually really lovely to have my own little space right next to my bed, just somewhere that I can come and chill out and do all my work from. So the most important little bit that I've got on my desk is of course my laptop. This is where I do most of my editing. I actually find it a lot easier to work from my laptop rather than my desktop, purely because if I actually don't fancy sitting at my desk, I can go down and sit in the front room or in the garden or wherever I just fancy working. So I also have my iMac to work from on my desk. This is actually great because sometimes I need a larger screen to work from, especially if I'm photoshopping and I need to do a lot more minor details. Yeah, it's a great asset to have and if you can get one, I definitely recommend having one in your desk space. So the first little detail that I've got on my desk is my candle. It's actually from Aldi, but it smells like one from Jo Malone. I've got it in the scent Velvety Rose and I'm pretty sure it only cost me around 4 dollars so it's actually a great bargain. I've also today got my mug that I got from Primark. I saw it on Ellie Darby's vlog. She did a Primark Autumn Haul and I just had to get one because I thought it would make a perfect little addition to my desk when I was working. This came in a set of two and it was only five pounds. I've also got this little copper K. I got it from Typo, I think it was around 7 99 and it lights up, it just looks really cute on my desk, especially when I'm working in the evening. Next to the K, I've got this desk calendar, which was from Poundland. It was a pound, obviously. Next to this, I've got a couple more decorative items. Then behind this area, I've got a few trays just for all my paperwork. So this is where I keep my invoices. I used to keep my uni work here when I needed it to get it done. I've got some items in here from a brand that I need to shoot this week. It's just a really great way to keep organized on your desk. And then behind this, I've got just some random bits, like little personal bits that I just keep on my desk just to remind me. I've got my friends save the date in here. I've got business cards, rolls of film, just little random bits like that. So next on my desk is my collection of books from Vogue. Vogue actually do a collection on different designers. I think they're about £10 a book though, so hence why I've only got three at the moment. And then the handbag book I found in HomeSense and I just had to add it to my collection, especially because I think it was £8 instead of 10 so to me that seemed like a really good bargain. And then on top of these books in these three little boxes, I keep just random bits. So I've got nails for my wall to put up pictures. I've got my USBs and my SD cards, just so they're all on hand at my desk when I need them. Taking pride of place on my desk is my collection of Vogue. I've been collecting Vogue for over a year now. I just am obsessed. I love every single issue. I stare at every single photograph in every single advert. I just love how it's laid out and I'm just in awe of the whole magazine. Above my collection, I've got two Polaroid cameras. They're very old, I've never ever used them, but I just love them as little decorative pieces on my desk. And yeah, maybe one day I hope to get them working again. Then the last of the books on my desk are these. They just sit next to my computer. I love every single one of them. and. The four in the middle, they really helped me throughout uni. I'd actually really recommend every single one of them. So the first of my books is my diary, actually. I got this diary in 2004 when I was eight, and yeah, I still use it to this day. So I used to write in it every day when I was younger, but now I say I write in it once or twice a year. I just bullet point everything that's happened to me, whether that's good or bad. And yeah, it's just nice to look back on, see what I've achieved, see what's happened in the last however many years. And I would definitely recommend everyone to write in a diary because it's actually really therapeutic. The second book that I use and I swore by through uni is Beyond the Lens. This is a great book if you need to read up on anything legal. It helps you with copyright law, how to write a contract, how to advertise your photography. It is a great all round book. It's by the AOP, the Association of Photographers. And even if you're not a student, if you're just trying to run your business, then I would definitely recommend this book. It is worth a good look. So these are actually the two first photography books that I ever bought by Henry Carroll. They are amazing books and I would definitely recommend them to anyone just starting out. They really, really helped me with my photography. 
Capture Your Style by Amy Song is also a great book. I really, really found it helpful when I started out this type of photography, especially when working with influencers, because it really helped me to understand what they were trying to get from their images and how to create great content for them. I definitely recommend this book if you're a photographer or an influencer. It's just a great way to get inspiration for your feeds. The last book that I've got on my desk is the Chanel Catwalk book. This is a great book if you love catwalk imagery. It's also just a great coffee table book and one day I cannot wait to put this on my coffee table in my own home. I got this from Costco, it was £30. I think if you buy them in HomeSense, they're around 35 to 40. Um, they can be a lot more expensive. So if you can get into Costco, I definitely recommend. They had quite a lot of these. They had Dior, Louis Vuitton. Yeah, there was quite a few. So I would definitely recommend going in there and having a look. Next to my books, I've got my Instax printer. This is a great little printer. It prints images straight from your phone using their app. The printer paper itself is actually quite expensive, but it's definitely worth it for the results, as you can see here. So next, we're moving on to my photo wall. It's kind of built up of a lot of prints that I've collected over the years from different websites and different places, and I absolutely love it. The first print on my wall is from HomeSense. I think it was around £10. It's a Nelson Mandela quote and I absolutely love it. It gives me the motivation that I need when I'm not feeling like I can actually do my work. The second frame I've got is actually full of train tickets from when I was first at university. I collected all of my train tickets and I just thought it'd make a really nice photo to hang on my wall and remind me of my time there. The four prints here, the Prada, the lipstick, the Fashion and the Coco Chanel, they are all from Decenio. These were the first prints that I had on my wall and after I bought these I just had to add to my collection and create a whole kind of photo wall. I just think that they're amazing and they really fit in with the type of photography that I would love to do. I then have these small postcards from Paper Chase. I really love this one because I just love the motivational quote. As you can tell, I really love my little motivational quotes. And then I also have this one from Paper Chase. I just bought it because I actually just think it's hilarious. And I think these were both like 99p or something like that. That might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was around that. I've then also got this little camera bauble that I got from Primark last year in their Christmas collection. And then dotted around randomly, Pride of Place are all of my passes from the different fashion weeks that I photographed at this year. I've just hung them up to keep me motivated and to remind me of how far I've come in the last year. I actually can't believe that I got the opportunity to go to any of these fashion weeks and I am so, so grateful. So that is the end of my desk tour. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing where I work and my little cluttered desk space. There will be more videos coming soon. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment below if there's anything in particular you'd like to see, and I'll see you guys in the next video.